large successful experiences, coaching activities in big and middle companies are increasing. Coaching is now considered the best tool to develop leadership competencies and bring out people's full potential. Nowadays, many human resource managers are facing several strategic challenges. For example, how to become smart buyers of external coaching, or better yet, how to select a freelance coach, which coaching processes to implement, how to align coaching with other development activities, and how to measure results. Also, how to create and develop a network of internal coaches in order to optimize investments and create a corporate culture. In our experience, while supporting European companies in developing their own internal networks, we've seen that there's a series of decisions that HR managers need to make. First, strategy. What is the overall coaching strategy and which role shall it play within the company? Will coaching be considered a cost center or a profit center? If it is a profit center, which internal fee can be negotiated? To whom will be coaching offered? What will be the internal coach's need to create credibility? What level of sponsorship of the initiative is necessary? Two, characteristics and requisites of internal coaches. Well, which background and what level of corporate experience do they have to have? Which certifications do they need to have? How many international agencies that we've worked with, such as NASA and IBM, request that coaches are certified by the International Coaching Federation? Which assessment tools do they need to know? How will internal coaches be selected? And how will they be assessed? Three, coach training and continuing education. Which training courses to choose for internal coaches' development? How to choose a coaching school or a coaching organization whose courses are aligned with the credentials of ICF? Or will the company design its own training program and maybe apply to have it approved by ICF? Which continuing education program and what mentoring and supervision policy will it implement? Who will be mentoring and supervising their internal coaches? Four, coaching process. How will coaching activities be organized? Who will be responsible for matching coach and coachee? How will the coaching sessions be tracked? Who will be measuring the results? How many surveys uh, that we've seen show that internal coaching has a significant impact on coachees, on clients, and partners of the organization? Amongst these benefits, there's a better engagement higher productivity and better performance with the consequent positive impact of the business results. For example, IBM.com Europe, one of the clients we are supporting in this internal network initiative, is seeing the benefits resulting from the investment made on training over 40 internal coaches all over Europe. Thanks to these coaches, the company is becoming an empowered organization, as it was defined by the vice president of Teleweb and brand sales. In terms of ROI, different studies show that it can range between 600%. For example, the ICA survey on 2,100 coaching clients from all over the world confirms that for those able to provide figures to calculate the ROI on their coaching program, it has been around 700%. Internal coaching can be a powerful flywheel and generate change, knowledge, and results. Nevertheless, it is important that the initiative is designed, planned, and implemented in a strategic way and is aligned with the long-term vision and objectives of the organization.